Hi, it's Candy with Affordable Bookkeeping and Payroll, and today I want to show you how to create a new pay schedule, a new pay type, or so when you first get to your dashboard, what you're going to do to set up a new pay schedule is under Employer, click Pay Schedules, and then you'll hit Add. Here you'll name it. So let's say this one is going to be for management or an owner monthly. This one will be paid monthly. And let's say you want it paid through the end of the month. And your pay date, let's just say you always pay six days after the pay period ends. So you have plenty of time with direct deposit to run. And we'll select the six. Now in this case, it's a Sunday. That's not a banking day. Uh, but you'll have the option here. It says when something falls on a non-banking day, what do you want to do? Move to the previous banking day, leave it alone, move to the next banking day or the nearest banking day before a holiday. So let's just say you want it to move to the previous banking day and save. And then that one would be ready to go. Now if you need a new pay type, you go under employer pay type. And let's say you need to do retro pay because you owe money to someone after a pay increase. So you would hit add and the pay type, we could just say it's an additional hourly rate. And let's say we want to call it retro pay. And this one would also be retro pay. Now keep in mind, the code is just internal. Uh, the name is what would appear on the check. And then the sequence is just the order that appears, uh, especially if you were to export a spreadsheet uh, to enter hours at some point, this is the order that it would appear. And then we'll just hit save. If you need to create a deduction in the payroll relief in order to process payroll, you would first go down under employer and select deductions. This will bring up anything that's already created. And again, in this default uh, screen for the demo company, there's multiple items that are already set up. Uh, but if you needed to add one, of course, you would select add and you would select the type. So let's say someone wants to have a charity deduction. So you could select charity and they want to do a fixed amount. We can leave the amount or percentage blank uh, and the payee, if we had one set up, which we don't have, uh, we did not set up ahead of time the payee, but we would select the actual payee uh, that that would be paid to. And if they have a limit that they want to have deducted, uh, we could do that. Now remember, this is company-wide, not just for one person. So depending on you know what your situation is, this may need to be adjusted so that it would work well for the employees as necessary. And then you would hit save. Now, if someone wants to have this deduction on their paycheck, then you would also set that up under the employees. So let's just say we're going to go to this person. Um, and sorry, we need to go under the setup and we could go under their deductions and then we could see here that they, the charity exists and we could just say we want to add this and then hit save. And that's it. All right, if you have any questions, you can give us a call 310-534-5577 or reach out to us at contact at ab and p.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.